I love tea and I love shade. Let's get petty. America, you silly bitch. This week, Bill Nye is back to save the world, Katy Perry is releasing new music to save my soul, and Elizabeth Warren is gonna save the GD United States. That's right, Lauren. This week, Bill Nye the Science Guy released a teaser for his new Netflix series, Bill Nye Saves the World, and we cannot wait. Bill Nye, I heard your new series is gonna be trippy as fuck. Just how trippy is fuck? No, I don't know exactly how trippy f is, but I imagine it's excessively. Perfect. And just what will we learn on your show? We now know the universe is essentially a force, sending cosmic guidance to white women in their 20s. Oh my god, I knew my crystals were working. That just makes no fucking sense. I mean, it's just bullshit. Well, geez, Bill. I came out to have a good time, and honestly, I am feeling so attacked right now. It's not rocket surgery, it's science! Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh, and, uh, Bill? What do the ladies say in bed? Bill, 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 Honestly? Bill and I could get it. My DMs are open. Not only is Bill Nye back, my personal savior Katy Perry is back with new music! What? But there's a catch. In order to hear this song before its official release, you gotta hoof it out to one of these major cities, find a disco ball, and fucking plug in, dude! KP released this news with some very snazzy nail art, and oh yeah, this heaven-sent picture! Ugh, I just wanna die in her arms. Really? Yeah, like tomorrow, too. Lauren, what's going on in politics? Well, wouldn't you just know it, Lauren? It's the darndest thing. Sexism is being practiced in the Senate. No, you're kidding. Oh my god. Oh my god, no way, you're kidding. So crazy. Elizabeth Warren read from a letter written by Coretta Scott King, which questioned Sessions' moral character during the Civil Rights Movement. Upon hearing this letter, McConnell told Elizabeth Warren to sit the F down. Bernie Sanders read the same words from the same letter in front of the same Senate Judiciary Committee with no repercussions. Furthermore, as a civil rights leader, King's words had every right to be quoted in the Senate. After futile attempts to hush Warren, McConnell just went ahead and banned her from the debate completely, saying she was warned, she was given an explanation, nevertheless, she persisted. McConnell's words intended to belittle and undermine Warren, but instead it kind of just made her a figurehead for women who refused to be silenced. And oh yeah, it's also the namesake of all of our tattoos here at Snarled. Thanks for watching Spike Club. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and I'll gab with you. Tap here to subscribe and tap here to keep watching. Also, if you want to check out some fashion tips, find out how to be fly AF, go to our sister channel, Hissy Fit.